Good afternoon and welcome to the 2023 Okaloosa Schools Academic Tournament. This year we have seven schools from Okaloosa County going head to head in a double elimination tournament format. These standout students will be displaying their knowledge of math, science, history, literature, fine arts, pop culture and more to determine our tournament champion for 2023. I'm your host and moderator Stella Versweivelt. Lisa Nall will be our timekeeper and scorekeeper while Eric Bernal Zeller and Nathan Fiorino will be our chief judges and make the decisions on all things official. Eric Zeller Bernal is a flight test engineer. With a background in mechanical engineering and optimization techniques, he works on the test and evaluation of air to ground weapons at Eglin Air Force Base. Nathan Fiorino is a first lieutenant in the United States Air Force working as a developmental engineer in the Armament Directorate at Eglin Air Force Base. This is his first assignment as an active duty officer. He has a background in aerospace engineering with a bachelor's from The Ohio State University and master's from the Air Force Institute of Technology. Today's teams are from Crestview High School and Collegiate High School. We're going to take a quick break to hear from our Okaloosa schools and we'll be back shortly to introduce our team members. Stay tuned. I chose to come to Collegiate High School because you get free college and your high school diploma at the same time and that's the best opportunity for any high school student. I wanted to grow as an individual and so I decided to move here to not be grouped into these different categories that you'd find in like traditional high schools. I came to Collegiate because I wanted to get used to college work and uh, just being in a college environment before I actually move on to um, a bigger university. The thing that makes Collegiate High different from other schools in Okaloosa County is that we're a small school. Uh, students that attend the Collegiate High School are not just a number. We know students by name because of the small school atmosphere. So what's, what's great about this school is that uh, all the faculty are here to help you. They want them to excel in their academic life and personal life. At the other schools, I, I felt like I wasn't quite being challenged enough in all the fields, but here, here it's like, you know, you have teachers that, that teach you well, and they teach you what's going to be applied in the future. Many students think that if you go to collegiate, you can't play sports, you can't be in music, you can't be a high school student, but I still went to homecoming. I still went to the football games. I had fun with all my friends. And collegiate doesn't take that away from you. It adds on to your amazing personality. In order to be successful at Collegiate High School, motivation, student motivation. You have to be academically motivated because you'll be academically challenged. But when you go to a university, they'll see that you're dedicated and you're willing to take the course load that you'll be taking. I'd say if you come, come, one thought. <laughs> this thought is that you are unstoppable. Because if you come here thinking, you know, there's going to be too much work, there will be. It's, it's not an easy school. It's a tough school. But you're going to come, and if you come thinking that nothing will stop, you, you will be successful, and you will be a college student. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and introduce our coaches and team members for today's match. From Crestview High School, our coach is Erica Kennedy, and these are the members. Sophia Rivera, senior. Isaiah Norris, senior. Ananda Husto, senior. Leah Fickling, senior. And from Collegiate High School, our coach is Courtney Kahn, and these are our members. Caitlin Rojas, senior. Cannon Whitney, senior. Zachary Freeman, senior. Jackson Brazil, senior. All right, now we'll get started with the match. Toss-up number one is a mis miscellaneous category. <clears throat> in 2022, this entertainer decided not to have a theater name for him at his alma mater, Washington, D.C.'s Duke Ellington School of Arts, agreeing to call it instead the Theater for Artistic Freedom and Expression. Name this black comedian whose controversial specials for Netflix have included Stick... Dave Chappelle? That is correct. All right, Collegiate, your bonus is in math. Give these geometry terms relating to circles. Part A, the shape of the area between two concentric circles if one is smaller than the other. Oh, so is this like, um, like a circle? 
circumcised. Circumcised. I think that's when it's outside. Um, time. Circumcised. That is incorrect, and I have to get the answer before time is up. Okay. okay. The answer was Enellus. Part B. Any line segment whose endpoints are both on a circle. Cord. Oh, yeah, I think that sounds cord. right. Cord. That's correct. Okay, toss-up number two is in history. The name for this group may come from the Latin for oak tree. In the centuries before Jesus, Julius Caesar claimed that this group commonly practiced human sacrifice, which caused Claudius to ban the group's religious practices. Identify this class of Celtic priests. Uh, druids. That's correct. Collegiate, your bonus is in science. The parasite that causes this disease is spread by the female Anopheles mosquito and reproduces in the human liver. Part A, name this tropical disease whose symptoms are treated with quinine and artemisinin. Malaria. Yep. Malaria. That's correct. Part B, malaria is considered serious if this organ begins to fail a situation that may require dialysis. Oh, kidney. Oh, no, kidney. 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 That is also correct. <clears throat> Toss-up number three is in math. Pencils and paper ready. If the hypotenuse of a right triangle is 85 feet and the base is 84 feet, what is the triangle's height? So there was no answer. The answer was 13 feet. Moving on to toss-up number four. This subject is science. This structure surrounded by an outer membrane and an inner membrane with a small space between them. This structure's matrix contains the enzymes needed to perform the citric acid cycle inside the folds or cristae of its uh, mitochondria. That is correct. Collegiate, your bonus is in literature. His last two novels were Captains Courageous and Kim. Part A, name this British Nobel laureate more famous for his stories set in the jungles of India. Kipling. Oh. Kipling. Yeah. Kip Kipling. That's correct. Part B, the title of his collection, The Five Nations, refers to the United Kingdom and four other English-speaking nations still part of the British Commonwealth. Name any two of the four. Australia. Canada. Canada, Australia. Uh, Canada and Australia. That is also correct. <clears throat> Toss-up number five, the subject is social studies. This river reaches the North Sea near Gravesend and Tilbury. Tunnel crossings under this river that passes through the city of Oxford include Backwall, Dartford, and Dockland Light Railway. Identify this longest river entirely in England. Uh, the Thames River. That is correct. Crestview, your bonus is in fine arts. Give these architecture terms from definitions by mymodernmet.com. Part A. The center wedge space piece of masonry at the center of an arch. Keystone. Keystone. That's correct. Part B. The ornamental tip of a tower typically associated with Gothic architecture and other older styles. Spire. 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 That is also correct. Toss of number six is in fine arts. This instrument's peg box is just below its scroll and its strings are tuned to A, D, G, and C. Played by both Pablo Casals and Yo-Yo Ma, what musical instrument whose end pin rod is used to keep it in place on the floor is considered the tenor of the string section? Uh, cello. That's correct. Collegiate, your, sorry, Crestview, your bonus is a miscellaneous subject. 
give these terms as identified, give these terms as defined by the U.S. Tennis Association. Part A, the shot hit by a player just before coming to the net. That's incorrect. It's an approach shot. Part B. A series of good hits made successfully by players. That's volley. That's incorrect. That's a rally. All right, moving on to toss up number seven. The subject is math. Pencils and paper ready. Give the number of possible combinations, not permutations, of six objects that can be chosen from a set of nine. Can you repeat that? 54. No, that is incorrect. No. Collegiate, do you have an answer? Time. Sorry, the answer was 84. Mm. Okay, moving on to toss up number eight, the subject is social sciences. Only about 5% of Americans can be described by this financial adjective and many of them are in this position either because they have bad credit or because all of their friends are in the same position. Give this economic adjective starting with a U that describes people who use cash in all their transactions instead of trusting large financial institutions to handle their money. Unintelligent. <laughs> that was, no, that is incorrect. Do you have an answer, Collegiate? Time. Is unbanked. And also unintelligent, but anyway. Okay, moving on to toss up number nine. The subject is science. Used in eye makeup in ancient Egypt, this trioxide form of this element is found in flame retardant children's clothing and is also part of an alloy that strengthens lead. Name this element that combines with sulfur to make the mineral stibonite and has the chemical symbol SB. Uh, 10. I'm sorry? 10. No, that is incorrect. Crestview, do you have an answer? Antimony? Yes, that is correct. Your bonus is in history. Part A. Chandragupta in the 4th century BC was the founder of this first large centralized Indian empire. The Gupta Empire? His name is Gupta. He formed the Gupta Empire. That's the only Indian empire I know. We didn't do anything in the world history. Just said. Okay, the answer was Maria Dynasty. Part B, in the Middle Ages, records of this Indian religion that teaches of 24 Tirthankaras say that Chandragupta became a monk and died by fasting. Jainism. That's correct. Yes. That's the end of the first half. We'll be back with the scores after these messages. Welcome back. We've got a halftime score of Collegiate 80 and Crestview 60. Crestview has a substitution and the student will introduce himself. Max, sophomore. All right, let's begin the second half. Continuing with toss up number 10, the subject is language arts. When a wounded soldier is in great pain and near death, 
he may beg someone to administer a coup de gras, or a final blow that will kill him. Spell the three-word French phrase coup de gras, leaving out the circumflex in the final word. C-O-U-P-D-E-G-R-A-C-E. -E. That is correct. Crespi, your bonus is in fine arts. Name the classical composers of these march tunes. Part A. The British composer wrote a series of six pomp and circumstance military marches, including the one whose tune is often heard at school graduations. Do you remember his name? No. Okay. I'm John Philip Sousa. Just, just go with it. Just go with it. Okay. Uh, Sousa? That is incorrect. It's Edward Elgar. Part B. This German composer's wedding march from his music for a Midsummer Night's Dream is still played at weddings. Wagner. Richard Wagner was a German guy. I think Wagner. Wagner. Wagner is a German. I know. Wagner. That is incorrect. It's Felix Mendelssohn. Toss up number 11 is in math. Pencils and paper ready. Give the value of x that makes the expression 4x plus 7 all over 9x minus 27 undefined. Three. That is correct. All right, collegiate, your bonus is in social sciences. Give these geography terms from definitions by enchantedlearning.com. Part A. A land mass smaller than a continent surrounded by water. Island. Island. That's correct. Part B. A fertile place in the desert with Oasis. a water source. Oasis. That's also correct. Toss up number 12 is in history. The Crow Indian tribe offers a bus tour of this area whose most famous battle pitted the U.S. 7th Cavalry. Little Bighorn. That is correct. Collegiate, your bonus is, in is a miscellaneous subject. Answer these about movies featuring the Hispanic actress Rita Hayworth. Her film, Blood and Sand, tells of competitors in this sport. Volleyball. Volleyball. That is incorrect. It's bullfighting. <laughs> Close. <laughs> this is bullfighting. Part B. Hayworth also played Carmen in a film based on the novel Carmen that became this Frenchman's most famous opera. Puccini? 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 That's incorrect. The answer was Georges Bizet. Toss of 13 is in literature. One of this author's nonfiction works is on monarchy, which advocates for separation between emperors and popes. Another is on eloquence in the vernacular, which explains a little about why he wrote not in Latin, but in Italian. Name this medieval poet. Uh, Dante. That is correct. Collegiate, your bonus is in history. Name these women active in U.S. politics. Part A. She was the first Democrat candidate for vice president, running with Walter Mondale against Ronald Reagan. Clinton. That is incorrect. A little bit before Clinton. Her name was Geraldine Ferraro. Part B. She ran for Congress from her native Alaska in 2022 after running with John McCain against Barack Obama. Palin. That's correct. Toss-up number 14 is in social sciences. National historic landmarks in this state include the only official royal palace in the United States. Hawaii. That is correct. Crespo, your bonus is in math. Pencils and paper ready. John had a solution of 15% hydrochloric acid. After he added 50 milliliters of water to the solution, the solution is now only 10% hydrochloric acid. Part A. 
What is the total volume of the solution after adding the water? I don't know how to do this. I don't remember. I don't know how to do this. So. Um, 150 milliliters. That's correct. Part B. How much hydrochloric acid is in the solution? Fifteen milliliters. That's correct. Toss-up number fifteen is in mil is in literature. This play is said to have been written because Queen Elizabeth I wanted to see its most famous character in love. This play tells how that main character is made a fool of by mistresses Ford and Page, who keep him from detection by their husbands by making him hide in a basket of dirty laundry. Name the Shakespeare play that features a fat knight named Sir John Falstaff. King Richard III. That is incorrect. Crestview, do you have an answer? King Lear. That is also incorrect. The answer was the Merry Wives of Windsor. Toss-up number 16 is a miscellaneous subject. This organization, headed by Greg Norman, has been criticized by families who's lost loved ones on September 11th. Supported financially by the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, this group is named for the Roman numeral that is both the number of holes in its events and the score achieved with a birdie on each hole of a par 4 course. What group is now a rival of the Professional Golf Association? V? Uh, no, that is incorrect. Time. It's L-I-V. Okay, toss-up number 17 is in history. 2022 marks 10 years since this nation's civil war began between Northeasterners who won independence for... Uh, Sudan. Uh, that is incorrect. I'll start the question over. 2022 marks 10 years since this nation's civil war began between Northeasterners who won independence for its Tuareg people and southwesterners led by military leaders who have extended their rule for two more years. Name this African nation bordered by Mauritania, Algeria, and Burkina Faso, among others, whose current leader, Colonel Asimi Goita, is based in its capital city of Bamako. No answer. The answer was Mali. Number 18. The topic is science. Physicists in 2022 discovered three new hadrons that are made from combinations of this particle. Identify this particle that creates protons and neutrons when in groups of two or three. A uh, quark. That's correct. Collegiate, your uh, bonuses in social sciences. Identify these Hindu deities. Part A. Two of his avatars are Rama and Krishna. Vishnu. Vishnu. That is correct. Part B. This destroyer's god's wife Shiva. is Parvati. Uh, Shiva. Shiva. That is also correct. Toss-up number 19 is in fine arts. The title object in this film is designed to connect the cities of Bangkok and Rangoon. The object is built by British prisoners of war who complete it just before the British military managed to blow it up. Identify this classic movie where the British prisoners whistle, whistle the Colonel Bogey March during their time in what is now Myanmar during World War II. The Maltese Falcon. That is incorrect. Crestview, do you have an answer? Uh, 
murder on the Orient Express? That is also incorrect. The answer is Bridge on the River Kwai. Toss-up 20, social sciences. In 2022, this state's loss of yet another congressional seat puts its longtime congresswoman, Carolyn Maloney, into the same district as its longtime congressman, Gerald Nadler. What eastern state, whose 43 U.S. House seats in 1920 were more than any other state, now has a delegation in Congress that includes Nadia Valasquez and Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez? New York. That is correct. Crestview, your bonus is in science. Identify these retired space shuttles. Part A, named after oceanography research vessel that was named for a mythical island, this shuttle can be seen at Florida's Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis. That is correct. Part B, this one at the California Science Center was named by school children after the James Cook ship that first explored Australia. The Cook. That is incorrect. It was called the Endeavor. That's the, That's the end of the match. We'll be back in a few minutes to announce the final score. We have a final score of Collegiate 170 and Crestview 115. Thank you to all the students who participated in today's match, and thank you viewers for tuning in to watch this exciting event. We'd also like to thank our corporate sponsors, Microsystems Incorporated and Master Wall Incorporated. Stay tuned next time for further tournament action, and good night. <laughs>